Peter Bermudez asks, on Betaflight under the ports tab, I see a note that says, not all combinations are valid. Is this normal? So yes, Peter, the ports tab is telling you, and this that's always there. The ports tab is telling you that if you enable more than one thing on the same UART, it will reset the whole ports tab. This is, this is by the way, kind of, I, I want to say infuriating. That's a little too strong of a word. It's not quite infuriating, but it is annoying as heck. We should make this a rant on the news. Maybe we should make this a rant on the news. Uh, Betaflight developers, like you don't have enough to do. So check this out. By the way, see here it says not all combinations are valid. It always says that. If I go and I have uh, MSP enabled on UART4, and then I also enable anything else on UART4, like this, that's not valid. That you can only have one thing on each UART. There's actually like one weird exception to this that nobody talks about. I don't think most people know about it. I'll show it to you in a second. In general, you can only have one thing on each UART. And if you do two things on the same UART, then when you save and reboot, it just is like, no, no, that's not valid. Nope. It wipes the entire ports tab. Just wipes it out. Gone. Stupid. 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 If there's an invalid configuration, just reject the invalid configuration and leave it the way it was. Right? No, that's not how they do it. Stupid. I'm sure, by the way, hey, developers, I know there's a reason why it's this way. You guys work for free, you bust your ass, and one day this problem came up and this is how you decided to solve it because you had other shit to do. I, I get it. But this is stupid from a user perspective. This is, this is confusing and, and just stupid. Like, why would it wipe your ports tab out? So I'll show you. There is one exception. Let's see if it's still true. If you have Serial RX enabled, save and reboot, and if um, if you're using FlySky iBus, I don't even know if you need iBus as the serial receiver provider. You might be able to get away with this. But if you're using iBus, then you can use iBus telemetry on the same UART, and it won't. It it'll be valid. Let's see if that's still true. I vague. Yep, that's valid. So for some reason, iBus telemetry is enabled on the same UART as the Serial RX when you're using FlySky. If I change this to FreeSky, is it gonna is it gonna be like invalid and wipe the whole thing? No, <gasps> you can enable telemetry on the same UART. It does. It's not exclusive to iBus. You can enable telemetry on the same UART as Serial RX. However. It only actually, the only time that actually would work is with iBus. I don't, I don't know, well, some of these protocols I've never used. I've never used LTM or Mavlink or Hot. I don't know for sure. Um, but the only one I know for sure that is intended to work this way is iBus. Everything else, you would put telemetry on a separate UART from the serial receiver. Anyway.